Hey there, I'm Henry. I'm one of the co-founders of Reclaim. Today, I'm going to be showing you a pretty exciting, it's a small advancement, uh, but it's something that we're pretty excited to introduce to you, um, which is basically the ability to influence how our AI, how our AI scheduler schedules your tasks. Um, you know, there's all sorts of different scenarios that we run into um, when we're talking to users, um, particularly around how they want their tasks scheduled. And as you probably saw recently, we introduced this uh, feature we call priorities. And this is really now kind of the guiding light by which Reclaim is going to try to schedule all your stuff, right? Your tasks, your habits, your scheduling links, your smart meetings, all that stuff. Um, but there's all these funny scenarios, right? Like what if you have a really high priority task, but it's not due for a while? Um, so it's high priority, but it's, you know, it's pretty far out. You got a lot of latitude to get it done. And conversely, um, what if you have something that's lower priority, but it's due really soon? Uh, and you really want to make sure that Reclaim kind of has your back on that. And so for the first time really ever, uh, we are now opening up settings where you can influence how Reclaim schedules your tasks based on a variety of factors. Due date and time remaining have little effect. That means that um, we're not going to really consider the due date and how much time is left to determine how we reprioritize or reschedule your tasks. Um, and then there's these other two options that will say like, hey, if, if you see something that's really close to being overdue or you see something that's running out of time to get scheduled, um, really like try to boost that task so that it gets scheduled first. And to give you a really practical example of this, I've got three tasks here. Um, you can see I've got this one called Get Board Slides Done, and this is due on the 23rd. Um, I've got this task here. It's a critical task. Uh, I've got this one here called Catch Up on Hiring, and I need another four hours to get this done. It's actually due on the 19th, and I'm not going to start on it until the 18th. So I've actually got a pretty narrow window of time to get this done. And then I've got this other item called Heads Down on Project X. Um, I need six hours to do this, and it's due on the 21st. And I'm going to show you how these different kind of um, settings will influence how these tasks get scheduled on the planner. And you can see another detail here is I've actually got, I'm out when, you know, Thursday through Saturday of the following week. So I don't actually have that much time uh, to work on these things. So my get board slides done task, uh, that's actually a critical task. And, and right now it's scheduled kind of the way you'd expect, right? If you're just considering priority, um, I have it scheduled starting on Monday and yeah, it's not due until the 23rd, but reclaims, you know, prioritize scheduling at first because it's my highest priority task. But what if I actually said, you know, Hey, I really want to make sure I get that time for hiring. I really want to make sure that that due date in general, for any time I've got a task that kind of looks like this, I want to make sure that reclaim scheduler is more influenced to sort of consider those due dates or consider the time remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my settings here. I'm going to change this to uh, strongly influenced by due date and time remaining. I could set it to just due date, but I'm going to, I'm going to go for this one. Cause I, I think this kind of reflects uh, my need as a user where I really want Reclaim to understand uh, when due date or time remaining are at risk and kind of boost my tasks based on that, even if they're lower priority. Um, and so now I'm going to head back to my planner here. So now you can see that catch up on hiring just got moved to Monday. And it did that because uh, even though it's lower priority, Reclaim has recognized that it actually has the thinnest time window to get it done. Um, so it's looking at my tasks and it's saying, yeah, what's highest priority, but also are there any lower priority tasks that might need to be boosted uh, so that you get the time as soon as possible, right? And you could always do this with up next, you know, if you wanted to say, I want to get this scheduled as soon as possible, I could take those tasks, you know, like catch up on hiring and move that to up next. But what's really, really neat about this is... Um, it's, it's, it's really giving you the ability to sort of influence in general, how task scheduling works in reclaim. Um, and you can see, because I actually moved this to up next, it not only, uh, scheduled it, um, as soon as possible, it also moved it to today because another thing up next does is it ignores your start dates. It says like, Hey, just try to get time for this as soon as possible. If I remove this from up next, you can see it's going to remove it from Friday and it's going to go back to Monday. Um, and it should replace, uh, this guy here. Yep. There it goes. So this is a really, really neat thing. Again, it's a small looking improvement, but what's really exciting about this is it's kind of like you're, you're basically giving like these little pre-baked prompts to reclaim these sort of standing instructions about how you want our AI scheduler to be influenced. And, um, specifically for task scheduling, where there's a lot of complexity around like 
this intermingling of what's the priority, what's the due date, am I on track to get this thing done? And so if you're finding that um, even with priorities, you're finding that tasks are sort of getting pushed a little too close to the edge of your due date, um, I would really encourage you to take a look at these settings and try to set the one that makes the most sense for you. But if you do want Reclaim to really consider those due dates and time remaining and use our intelligence to sort of figure out whether we should boost something, would definitely encourage you to check these settings out. Um, so super excited to bring this to you again, small improvement, but we think it's going to make a big impact for anyone using tasks. We hope you enjoy and like, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Goodbye.